All right. Back with more Power Grid again. Funk Doc here. And this time we have a four-player game on USA. And this is the most expensive possible USA map for four-player. So that's worth noting. It means we should get ourselves a decently long game here. Meaning, step three, uh, unless we end up stalling real hard in this one, step three, the step three auction should last for three turns, most likely. So I'll need to think about that. To me, that says that, again, with the, with this map, it says that, again, you may want to end up going for a peacetime type strategy. Unless you can get a good deal in the 25 or 26. Um, I thought I clicked pass. I thought I clicked pass. Thank you, thank you, thank you, game. I was gonna say, I thought I clicked pass. Seven? Um... Sure? Well, that changes a lot of things. Marty might not be sure what to do now either. The seven is rarely bought as a starting plant because oil is going to be really expensive for it. So um, the three should be bought. Still, like you, like building first is still a nice advantage. I like Marty's play going for the 8 here. I like this. I don't want to let Soledad off the hook too easy, though. But that means letting Marty off the hook too easy. Mm, I think I should still... Uh, where even is, like, a single build here? I'm trying to think. Where's a good single build if I go with the 3? Man, man, I don't know what to do with this one. <sighs> do you still buy the three? I'm saying, I've never, I'm not used to people buying the seven because oil's so expensive at the start and it just gets driven up like crazy. Uh... Oklahoma City is a decent option for a single build. I don't like Chicago or Minneapolis. Like, Oklahoma City and Billings seem like the safest picks to me. Um... God damn, this is hard. This is actually hard for me. I'm not used to this. I think I take the five. I think I st we still need to start attacking Cole here. That means Soledad got a hell of a deal on that four, though. Hmm. And now we have... Wow, this is awful. 19 and... Well, no, 23 actually goes under the... 23 goes under the deck, so that's actually really good in terms of moving the market. 19 is a big blocker, but we can deal with one of those blocking plants right now. Now, because, I will say, because the, because the three wasn't bought, seven actually gets a good deal on oil this turn. The problem is three will likely get bought by, probably bought by someone low in the turn order next turn. Yeah, Soledad's build was what, the one I was thinking. Um...
I think I like Chicago here. I think. Because someone could build... Nah, 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 nah. I don't do Chicago, because someone could know Minneapolis, Omaha, and someone else could go St. Louis, Kansas City. Yeah, no, just Billings. I'll just go with boring old Billings. And of course, well, okay, at least Tom leaves one of the twins open. I will, again, gladly take that. You don't usually get a build that expensive with a plant like 7 or 8 at the start. Good stuff to Tom. Marty gets Chicago. I think Chicago and probably Kansas City would be better. You, you definitely go Chicago. Chicago for sure for Marty. Chicago something is going to be a fantastic build for Marty going last. It's just a question of whether Marty will, will want to go Minneapolis or Kansas City for the second city. Okay, the Minneapolis route. I thought maybe Kansas City might have been a little better. Because the problem is, you're going to give that up to Soledad. Soledad's going to get a good amount of space there. Eleven. <laughs> okay, now we're getting to the dregs here in this market. So these players should not buy plants. Marty, I imagine, I think Marty will definitely pass here. Well, Marty might put the 10 up for bid just knowing someone else will bid on it here because 11 is awful right now. Uranium costing 12 a piece. So like one of us, Soldad and I, like we are we will bid on the 10 even if Marty puts it up. Like I'm not going to hurt myself just to punish Marty. Uh let letting Marty get stuck with the 8 and the 10 would not be great for us because one of us needs that 10 plant. But Marty passes, which is uh most prudent for them, I think. Tom should pass also. Now, if Tom... Okay, there we go. That's the correct play. Time for us to fight over the 10. Bids 12, I'll pay 13. Yep. I think that's a good price when uh, 13 will not be bought next. And yes, yeah, Soldad goes for the three, which is definitely the correct play at the bottom of the turn order. Because you need to, you do want to attack the ten, the that seven plant a little bit here. Yeah, three oil come back into the game per turn. So oil would be at a sustainable cost for the seven if the seven plant, if nobody else bought oil. All right. Um, my next build is Denver. So actually, I have exactly enough to buy four coal here and build Denver. Yeah, that's the build for me. We know Soldad's building Kansas City. That's just a no-brainer. That will force Marty to take St. Louis next for a little bit more expensive connection. Yeah. Yep, obviously the right play. And obviously I take Denver that's next for me. Gives me the connection to Santa Fe and is a bit of a cheaper starting city for me. At this point, I'm not going to attack, again, when someone else builds, like in the previous game that I uploaded, in this exact situation, I'll let my opponent have Santa Fe and just uh, go into the more expensive Southwest there, instead of letting them jump into Seattle and Portland ahead of me. Yeah, well, I'm obviously putting this up for bid. 
that's a no-brainer. And I will pay a decent a decent chunk of change for this. Well, I don't know. What I could do is this. What I could do is If I now if I get this plant at list price, if nobody else bids me on it for some reason, then I could take Seattle this turn. Now I won't be able to afford it though. I cannot afford a third city this turn. What I could do here is still bid for this plant and buy oil on the five and run that plus the 13 on this turn to power two cities a little more efficiently, keep coal a little cheaper for my 10. Yeah, I'm okay with this, sure. Oh no, oh no, I just realized Tom might buy a plant. Tom might buy a plant and give Soledad 21. <sighs> Please don't do it, Tom. Please don't do it, Tom. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Tom. Okay. Okay, I wasn't sure how Tom was playing this game, but they don't seem to be... They don't seem... They seem to have at least basic competence here. 21 is just such a... It's it's a more likely plant to come when it's next in the futures market compared to even 25 or 26. So passing was the correct play there. Tom just has to take another turn, get to the bottom of the turn order, and then they could buy, like, 11 or something. Uh, yeah, I'll do this. I'll burn oil this turn instead of coal. The reason I'm doing this is to keep coal a little cheaper long term, since I'll be using the 10 probably another couple turns or so. Maybe. I mean, I mean, next turn, nobody should buy a plant until the bottom. So we're not going to get 21 on the next turn. The key thing is Marty staying above uh, Tom in the turn order because Marty will know not to pass Tom the 20, not to uh, uh, drop the 21 for Tom. So even now, even though I can't build to a, build a third city this turn, I'm still more efficient than the other players on this turn. Yeah, I think 13 may have been a little bit cheap because of how slowly the market's moving here. 10, I think 10 was, you know, more or less a fair price. I paid, what, 13 for it? 10 was a fair price. 13 was a little bit of a value, I feel. Yep, Marty goes, uh, yeah, they're looking for that St. Louis there, which is, I think, the correct play for them, for sure. Actually, actually, I mean, I'm not going to have enough money to do this, though. I'd be just short of affording both uh, Fargo and Dulleth on the next turn, unfortunately. Which would be a cool build. Oh god, Tom's in front of Soledad again. Oh no, they might drop him 21 now. Tom might get desperate and buy a plant this turn. I mean, they didn't last turn with these same plants. But if you wait longer with your crappy starting plant, you tend to get more desperate here. These plants are awful, though. There we go. Soledad has to buy the 11 now. I think that's clearly the play for them. 11 is now decent. Because you're only paying 8 for your for your uranium.
19, all right. Hmm. I would have thought eight more so because there's more trash plants that could come and kill 19's value. 19 does make more money now in the short term than 11, though. You're paying 10 to power 3 cities versus 8 to power 2 cities. So 19 will make a lot more money on this turn. Mm, I think the play for me is do not store coal. Or do I store coal? I think I still store coal. Yeah, I still think that's the play. Yeah, I'll take the two coal that's sitting there at four. Yeah, I gotta do that. No reason for me to build to four this turn. So 10 is actually, for me, has been like similar or better efficiency than the 11. Soledad's got a lot of land there. Although Tom, I mean, I can build Seattle. And what that means is... Um, this locks up the cheaper cities in the Northwest for me. And Tom will definitely have to build Santa Fe on the next turn to block uh, Soledad. For sure. Forty six and forty four go under the deck. These are some really awful plants for this point in the game. I feel good about my situation. Especially now, especially with 17 coming on. No 21 for another turn. Wah, wah. Ooh, Soledad buys the 11 now. Okay, we will get 21 this turn. Never mind. Maybe. There's still a decent number of plants that could block 21, actually. Just like that. I'll pass. Fifteen doesn't improve me that much over my current situation. Very lucky for Soledad, though. Now, Marty's got a decision to make. If Marty passes, Tom will obviously buy the 15 and uh, drive up coal sum from Marty, which is not great. But if Marty buys the 15, very likely 21 will drop to Tom at list price, because nobody else will be in the auction with Tom. That's That could be a big deal at this point in the game. Soledad is, will be making a lot of money now in the short term, so we have to hope that 21 comes on next. Marty does it. I think this could be a reasonable play because Tom is not in the greatest position now. Tom's builds are expensive as hell. And they've they kind of fallen behind in the money after an early lead, so giving him 21 might be okay. 
Oh my god, Tom actually bid in 15. Fuck my life. Why the hell did you bid that, Tom? Ugh. You were handling the market well earlier. There was no reason to bid on 15, though. That was awful. And 16 comes in after, too. <sighs> this is part of the unpredictability of multiplayer games here. I really, really did not think 15 would get any extra clicks there. What the hell? <laughs> All right. No reason for me to buy any extra resources now because I am... I'm guaranteed to drop to the, all the way to the bottom of the turn order on the next turn. I don't get what the hell Tom was doing there. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, yeah, I have to say, Marty definitely has to be in the lead now. Question is where Marty builds. Marty would either... Marty in this situation will want to either go into Fargo... Yeah, Marty will Marty will either want to go into Fargo or Memphis. I honestly feel like Memphis would be more beneficial to Marty because Minneapolis already gives Marty a direct connection into Billings and into the West there, which is only a dollar more than the connection from Fargo. Oh, never never mind. Okay, Tom Tom makes the big plays. All right, I didn't even realize Tom still had a fairly cheap jump into the North there. Okay, that's a good play for them. Very good play for Tom. Now Marty's definitely for south, which is good news. Because that uh, hampers Soledad a little bit. Soledad will probably get Santa Fe next, though. Hmm. Ooh, you know what I could do? I could take Santa Fe. I can actually go into Santa Fe and keep bottom in the turn order. So, you best believe I'm gonna do that. Block Soledad. Sol yeah, Soledad really needs needs to get their building needs to get his building blocked because he's in a great situation right now. And I'll and I will take the 16 if nobody else buys it. Although the nice thing is Tom might buy 16 and drop something big. Because Tom is second from the bottom in turn order. This is perfect. I think what happens is Soledad should pass, Marty should pass, and then we'll have to see if Tom buys 16. I hope they give me a gift like they just gave Marty. And 12 comes in, which is kind of bad because now I can't get a big drop from my turn order. Uh, we've gone through almost all the greatest hits. Um, 14 is the only major dud left that we haven't seen. Well, they pass. All right. Here's what I can do. <gasps> I can do this. Oh my God. I can buy 16. Let me think about this. Let me think about this. I won't be able to store any extra resources, but I can do this and break the stall. And I think in my situation, that will be the play to make. We'll build two plants off the market this way, too. I sure have had to buy a bunch of uh, kind of crappy plants, though.
The onus is on a lot of us to move the market now because Marty is just going to crush the stall there. With twenty that twenty one at cost that twenty one at cost is just I mean Marty has to be the favorite regardless but there's still a lot of the game to be played yet and breaking the stall is what'll do it and right now I'm the only player with the power to break the stall so I have to do it plus I can power six cities this turn uh, with a decent enough efficiency so. Twenty six should be around next turn. All right. Well, this is what we do. That's what we do. Hey, we get twenty five on. Cool. This is what we need now. We need the game to open up. The nice thing about Salt Lake is that gives me the better route into the Southwest because I don't have to go through Phoenix. Phoenix is the absolute most useless city in the USA map. Like, it's not a decent price at all until step three, basically. So I'd rather go through uh, Salt Lake to Vegas because that's the quicker route to uh, the cheaper stuff. The problem now is... 25 might not stay on the market with 18 coming. Nine, like nine's going to be removed from the game, so, 20, so it'll be 12, 17, 18, 25 as the available market. I just need one more low plant not to come to help my chances. Hey, all right, we get this. We do have a bit of a chance of 26 not coming. And if 26 does come, it's not going to be cheap either. So. I definitely have more incentive to fight for 25 than 26. I might consider passing here soon because we're getting to the point of a 40s usual fair price here, and I don't see much of a reason to deviate from 40ish as the value for it. Because there's a lot of the game to be played yet. We've moved through a bunch of the market here. The market should move a lot more quickly now. Almost all the bad plants are gone. And what that tells me is I might be okay even just having to settle for 18 or something like 16, 18, 13 is uh, not a bad little combo in making money and staying low in the turn order.
two oil for six cities not bad and again we should we should expect especially with as expensive as this map is we should expect step three to last for three turns meaning that you can go into step three without any end game plants and still win the game in fact you'd be more likely to win the game if you didn't pay big for any of those plants prior to step three Soledad thinks now. There we go. It goes over 40, which I think is what it should here. Okay, good, good, good. That's a very, very fair price. And 26 does come on, which is good. 26 does not really work as well with me. Because of me already having 16. And me having 16 in the game will be a nice... Uh, bit of a weapon against 26 there to keep it from being a runaway value. And I don't want to run 26 and 13 together. Oil's restock just isn't robust enough for that to make you a lot of money in the long run. Especially now with 21 around. Come on, you're gonna bid? We know this is gonna go past 40. Like, come on. Please bid for this plant, Tom. You need this plant. Tom really needs 26. You need this plant. It, pair, it, gives, it, it pairs much better with your 15 than 25 did. You need to fight for this plant, Tom. I don't know if Tom is just away from the keyboard or what. <sighs> It'll be interesting to think of how high I'd want to bid this plant. I mean, this should go for like 40 plus. The problem is, again, it does not fit that great with me. Tom needs to, again, Tom really needs to fight hard for this plant. I want Tom to fight so that I don't have to, because 26 is a way, way better plant for Tom than it is for me, due to me having 16. I mean, it's funny to think that the seven plant was running for almost all of step one. You like never see that. Seven Seven is one of the plants that's not, it's not even bought at all very often. It's much more often a plant that gets built off the market. That is when someone reaches seven cities. Looks like Tom might have left the game. I don't know if there's a disconnection error or something.
Soledad's plants actually do make a, a decent little combination, though, right now. He's got, a, he's got a solid setup. Although that will change if 24 comes. Uh-oh. Did we get a rage quit? Wow. So this player has more one star ratings than five star ratings. There's like a rating system for like how much you enjoy playing with people and things like that. Did this really happen? Did this really happen? I was going to say, Tom made some questionable plays, enough so that I wondered how the heck they could have a 35% win rate in Power Grid. That seems like that might be the answer. Yep, rage quitting's not just a thing in video games. Honestly, rage quitting is a hell of a lot worse in in board games like this in multiplayer than it is in, say, a one-on-one -on -one fighting game. Because here... It affects all the other players, because the game just grind the game just completely grinds to a halt if one player leaves in the middle of it. Yeah, you have to put in slash master reset to uh, reset a game. Well, uh, that sure was a 
game, quote unquote. I'll uh, definitely put this up because um, I'll just leave it up as a warning for uh, Rage Quitter. So this is a person that I would suggest you do not allow into your Power Grid games. All right, I'll see you later.